Okay, so I'm going to uh, attempt a migration or an upgrade of a Drupal 7 site to backdrop. And there's a, this is the backdrop site we're going to upgrade. It has a lot of very valuable com uh, content. As you can see, some of it's in Latin. Uh, we have, uh, we also have a little view here and we have uh, some taxonomy terms and we have a custom footer block and we're going to look at the end and make sure that all these elements are in place when we're done. Okay. Uh, so let's see. There's this page here is up, uh, back on backdropcms.org slash upgrade from Drupal. Uh, so we re want to review the theme and use on our, on our Drupal site. Well, we're just using the uh, Bardic theme, so we'll skip that step, I suppose. We also don't have any layouts in use. Um, I guess I'm not as well prepared as I hope to be. Uh, review the contrib con contributed modules. So a couple ways we can, so there's a, uh, list of modules that have imported the backdrop already, which we can see here. If I, oops. Oh, no, this is what, I, okay, this is what I want to look. I'm sorry. Um, if I want to know which, which contributed modules are already installed, uh, I can, one way to do this is just to use Drush. I can say Drush, uh, PM list, I mean, two dashes, type equals module, status equals enabled. And I like doing this because now I can just copy and paste this into a spreadsheet and, and use it to check off how all the upgrades going. But, uh, All right, so sorry. So, so first step after we've reviewed, you know, what themes we're using, what what uh, what contributed modules, what core modules we're using, is uh, make sure we're updated to the latest version of Drupal seven. So, I'm just going to say I'm in my uh, Drupal root. I say drush ups and Great, I'm updated. I, I, am, I have the latest version of Drupal, and all of my uh, contributed modules are up to date. Okay, next we need to uh, back up the code files and database. So let's see how that would look. I'm going to go up one level. Okay, and I'm just going to create a tar. Oh, I don't need. I don't need a G zip here. What am I doing? So someone obviously was drunk when they when they broke hacked into my site and edited my notes, but uh, that should work. Ah, legacy, right? So this is this is my tar file, and then legacy.d7 is the name of the directory that I want to uh, create a tar ball for. Okay. So I just I just put the code and the files all in one tar ball. We might you might want to uh, back them up separately. Okay. And now. Next step is to make a database dump. So I'm going to say drush SQL dump. Well, here's where I'll do zip. Then I want to zip it and write it to uh, this file. And it did broke. Oh, because I'm way ahead. See, Now it should work. Okay.
All right, so we, we uh, reviewed the, the core modules we're using and the list of uh, modules that are no, core modules that are no longer, modules that are no longer in core. Uh, one thing I, f I found is uh, the shortcut module needs to be disabled. So I'm disabling this and then uninstall it. Uh, I don't know. Are there any comments that people would like to interject? I guess I'm just. Well, you need to, uh, you need to install any uninstall any core modules. Right. Or that you don't want. Yeah, so if you have like full, you leave it anything you don't want. Yeah, it's interesting. I didn't even know that shortcut wouldn't automatically be because shortcuts, you're right, it's not in backdrop core. Um, but a lot of modules that aren't in backdrop core, like, like uh, oh, I guess there is no toolbar in Drupal 7, like a um, dialogue, dialogue module or what? But there's no, what's the modal mod, modal overlay. overlay, overlay. Yeah, you don't need to turn off overlay though. It'll just like wipe it out because overlay doesn't have any configuration. But I guess shortcut you could conceivably still want in the backdrop. So maybe that's why you are turning it off. It seems like you should just, we should just. Yeah, I was just chill, about chill. To an issue for that. Yeah, we should just ignore shortcut entirely rather than expecting. Okay, so we did step or number four in step two: disable and uninstall core modules that have been removed that you no longer need. Um, number five: I'm not even sure I understand this, but it doesn't apply to us right now. Save your views back into the database. I guess if that's your if that you're using features, yeah. okay. Uh, features is another category of thing I've never understood, but <laughs> I try. Uh, <laughs> Have a backdrop version of your theme and matching layouts ready. Well, we won't really have any theming that's worth saving, so that's fine. We're just going to enable the core. We just have the core Bardic theme right now. We're using the seven theme for administration. Put your site into maintenance mode. Well, I like command line because it makes me feel cool. Mm -hmm. So brush vset maintenance mode. One, and there's, there's one issue that, that came up for us that, that wasn't in the documentation uh, that, that maybe we could discuss. Uh, we, we created this site on Pantheon and uh, for the, the background site on Pantheon, and it used the Pantheon install profile. And so we found that we had to switch the ins installation profile to standard before before doing the upgrade. So I don't know if that should be added to the instructions or if, or if, the, or if the upgrade po process should uh, change that automatically. So, so I can do that just by saying drush vset install underline profile or underscore, that sounds better, standard. Okay, and so now the the database we we've uh, removed stuff we don't want. We put it into maintenance mode. We've switched the install profile to standard. Uh, we have backups of everything. We're now ready to make a second backup, and the second backup is what we're going to use to import into backdrop. So the documentation suggests calling this backdrop ready and so I like using the names they suggest in the documentation because then you don't have to remember what you called it. So drush SQL dump backdrop ready SQL okay and so now we're ready to install backdrop. 
Uh, so not that one. So I'm on the backdrop homepage. I click download backdrop. And then I, do I have the backdrop site? I have it here, okay. And then I can just unzip this. So. First, let me make sure that I, right, eh? Okay. Okay, we need a, data, a SQL database for this, so I'll go into my SQL and I'll say create database, and I'll use a clever name, backdrop, and We'll also have a username name of backdrop that has permission. So grant all on backdrop.star to backdrop at localhost, identified by let me in. Very secure password. Okay. And the third note I have here is I'll see if this is correct. Do not run the installer. So I'm not going to run the installer, but I'm going to copy the files from the, the old Drupal site into the new backdrop site. Uh, one suggestion is uh, we could just make a symbolic link. I think I'm just going to copy. Uh, if I say, and the, the documentation also points out that if you say dash P, I didn't know this, dash P preserves permissions when you copy. So let's see. And I wonder if I always forget do I need a trailing slash or not? And I'll just find out. If I messed it up, I'll move the files. Okay. Let's see. Yep, I messed it up. So, oops. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so I. Okay. Yeah, yeah, laugh at me. Fine. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm just being super defensive because it's funny. <laughs> okay. Sites fault. All right. What do I want? Maybe move. <laughs> Slash and then backdrop. I probably should have just created the files. The files for first slash. No? Yeah, it would be fine. We'll try this. Majority says this. And majority is never wrong. There is a files directory. Yes. Success. Okay. Uh, now I need to import the backdrop ready SQL dump. So I'm going to say MySQL Oh, I need the and the database is called backdrop. Yeah, well well, the trick is I'm not using a username or a password, I guess, right? But that's that's maybe a trick of being low security. Okay. So it's sucking it all in. Okay. Now go back to 
backdrop, there is a settings.php file that we need to edit. And right now, it has the wrong username and password. So my username right now is backdrop. My password is let me in. And my database name is backdrop. OK. And so I think that's the only change I should need to make on the settings.php. OK. Ah, I forgot. I think I forgot which out contributed modules I needed. Which contributed modules do I need? Um, Okay. Huh, okay. I needed uh I think I needed email, link and meta tag. No, I need meta tag, right? It would probably work if I didn't. Hmm? Address field? OK, so I didn't find an, I didn't see a release for address field. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, we may not actually be using it, but but maybe in principle, right? We'd we'd figure out which ones we need to download. Okay. Well, not showing up in the search, but those pages there. Oh. I don't know why. That's really fun. Okay. There it is. Okay. Oh, there's a space in the name. Oh. Oh, so I have to search. Okay. So I, I should be able to search for the machine name, I think. Okay. Well, let's maybe we just try ad address field and meta tag, right? Even though we're probably not using either of them. Um, I created one. Or two. Okay. And I have a, I have a trick that I'm inordinately proud of. I guess that I, I have a little script I wrote that I have. when I download something, I have a pop command that, that just moves the most recent downloaded file into my current working directory. And then I can say pop2 says move the last two downloads. I'm not sure why I'm proud of that. But, but it's I, I use it a lot. <laughs> no, picky picky. OK, so sites, backdrop, OK. So Okay, and what was the other one? I'm gonna tag. Okay. In fact, I probably want a contrib directory here, right? Okay. 
right. But it's cleaner. Okay. So we've downloaded the contributed modules, themes, and layouts. We didn't have any themes and layouts to download. Um, update. And I guess the next step is just navigate to the site and visit update.php and see what blows up. Up, see if I can spell update.php. There's there's the effect that it's impossible to type when people are watching you. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is maybe an expected failure. This this usually happens to me. So the problem is that I'm not currently logged into the backdrop site, and so I don't have permission to run update. And so what they suggest is that there's a setting setting I can change in the settings.php file. Set update free access to true. And then I can run the update, and then I can change it back. So that is what I will do. All right. And I tend to use Atom, but, but when you're doing a demonstration, it's important to use VI or Emacs so people think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> OK. And so I get some error that I'm going to pretend didn't happen. And I'm going to press Continue. And I get 179 pending updates. OK. So when you see like, a, or I've even seen a 200, right? You think it's going to take forever. This actually goes very quickly, at least in my case, since there's, well, the demo site has no variable content. Okay, and it's saying very helpfully, don't forget to set free access back to false. So I'll do that. Okay, and uh, back to my site. Okay, and we see there's already a problem. Well, there's no, there are no pictures. So there's one step that I forgot. Which is it didn't, we, the public files directory moved, right? So we have to, let's see where that is. System, oh, media, that's right, media, file system. Instead of site's default files, we just want this to be files. And now I have the pictures. And so we have this little, uh, little view here. We have, we'll see if we have the lock and the header. Black of the footer, yeah, not not header. The other header. Uh, see if we have uh, taxonomy terms. Yep, birds, fish, mammals. We have taxonomy terms. So that's it. It worked. <laughs> even so, even a complete idiot like me can do it. Ultimately, what you did was you created a new site, but then you moved the database into the new site and, and really just upgraded the Drupal database. When I first started doing this, I, I was thinking in migration, I have to move data from one database to another. You actually have an upgrade path here, where all we're doing is upgrading the existing Drupal database, database and making it compatible with it. Is it using the same table? Most tables tables. Yep. Yeah, same, same tables. So the, the biggest change when that update is running is the one of Adam writing it. Um, yeah, so you actually be kind of alarmed when you upgrade your Drupal database to a backdrop database. 
half the tables will disappear because they're all being written into config instead. It used to be like there was a node types table and uh, all the field config tables, taxonomy vocabulary tables. All those tables disappear and they all get turned into config instead. So, ironically, your database actually gets smaller when you upgrade to backdrop. Um, Can you drop those tables? Yeah, those tables get dropped. Yeah, there, there's um, there is a step in between every upgrade and the dropping of the table. So uh, unlike the previous uh, upgrade instructions for previous versions of Drupal, uh, 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 we did the right thing here by getting all the contrib modules first and putting all the contrib modules in because Backdrop is built to run core and all the contrib upgrades all at the same time rather than run on the.php, run on the.php again, download the, um, the contrib modules, run on the.php again. And so it's supposed to be download all of them and run it once because if a module needs access to the old stuff like the vocabularies table before it's dropped then it has to interleave its updates in between after the conversion might take place but before the table gets dropped um, and so there's a step that does a conversion and then there's a step that drops the table uh, and if your module needs to fit in in between there, where, where both the config exists and the database table exists, then it can do it at that point. That was, that was, that required that too, but it wasn't building the need to structures that it has to be done that way. So most of the people who just like upgrades for Drupal 6, and then they didn't have to, have to just did it the old way and didn't realize that they were missing upgrades by not I believe documentation said to do it one module at a time. Drupal 6 is dead. Oh, okay. And Drupal 7 just kind of left it out. But it didn't explicitly say, don't do that. So, yeah, true, true. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I think.